So on this tooth, I've got a post that I want to remove. Okay. And I got a file that's stuck down there, number 15 file. Okay. That one's going to be a real bear. Yeah. Because if you start to plan, and you're looking at this like we talked about in the lecture, I'm looking at the upper half of this root, and I'm noticing that I could improve my access in the coronal part. I could get a little more access here. You and I know how to do that now. Right. And we could probably get down to about right here, and we could pre-enlarge this aspect of the canal. Yeah, which I think I've already done. But then it looks like if I draw a tangent line to your apical third relative to the upper straightaway portion, it looks like to me it's about 45 degrees, and it also looks like the instrument might be laying completely around the curve. Right. In which case, if it is, then I won't ever be able to make access to it. So this one might be kind of like the old days where we tried to bypass it. And it's kind of old fashioned in the dynamics. You get in there with 10 files and you use like viscous chelator. Okay. And it's like pick, pick, pick. And there's like a file blocking it. But what you're hoping is that the canal is irregular. Right. And the files may be binding on two walls. And right. there might be a little bit of space lateral to the instrument that you can get that 10 into. And okay. if you can get the 10 into it, you can start to slide past it. Then that can theoretically, with a little effort, get you to the 15 and then all of a sudden you're around it, and then you have to figure out if you can continue to shape, and then maybe fit a cone, and pack it, and you entomb the instrument inside the obturation material. So it's not removed, it's just you're able to get the length. If there was a lesion, that might have been important. Right. Okay, so that's what I see here. Yeah. Do you ever instrument to it, seal it off, and then just oh, yeah. wait and see and yeah. if, it, if it... It's if a it... problem later, either flap it, do surgery, or extract the tooth. Right. Okay. Was it a vital case or was it a necrotic case? Right. Well, if it was vital and the instrument broke, say, after the second or third file, you have a very, very good chance, according to literature, for it to have a long-term uh, response It's successful. Right. If you I'll exaggerate the other way, you open the tooth up, it's putrescent, it's necrotic, and you break this uh, on the first instrument, <laughs> it's probably not clean, there's probably swimming in a sea of microbes, right. and that's probably not going to work. If you were in a necrotic case and it was your last file that broke, maybe you got it clean on your earlier ones. Right. So I wouldn't be too quick to advance to the next procedure. Right. Until the patient either reports symptoms or your radiograph control shows that the lesion's reappearing or getting yeah. bigger. Okay. Okay.